Where the heck is camp? Office is empty. Sam! All these warrior sticks. They're all on sale. Why are they all on? Damn. status as a shooter i'm not sure ripping is the way to go well don't chirp me we got the film what's new what's changed why am i buying this one <laughs> why why are you trying to escape why are you trying to escape already before like honestly you say why i'm buying this one like i gotta say from a, an aesthetic standpoint she's pretty sharp that would uh not that we buy equipment just because of how it looks but some of us are a little more fast yes that never happens when it comes to goalie we never buy equipment on how it looks well, I mean, I never know. We, I, I'm a little more fashion conscious. You come out in the same outfit every single week. I'm mixing it up all the time. Trying mandated, to look mandated hockey shop uniform. Little uh, vintage goalie lid today. Little love to our friends over at Vintage Goalie. Does such a good job. On to the Warrior Twig. Um, walk me through what, like, first off, what is it called? Because these things get confusing to me. I'm a simple guy with not a lot of brain cells left. <laughs> Warrior V2 Pro Plus. Taking over for the Warrior View Online. Top end stick. What's changed? What's remained the same? Which is a lot of important things here. Um, again, great call out on the start of it. The graphic here, very, very nice blacked out kind of style of look with the Silver Warrior logos. That, um, like that blade? I wouldn't even want to throw tape on that. It's so pretty. It's so shiny. It's beautiful. So part of the reasoning for this new kind of style of graphic though is to call out the carbon weave and how they've layered it and what it is. So they've kind of changed the way the nomenclature is of, of the stick. Um, they call it a minimus carbon 25. So uh, basically what's happening here is that what that's calling out is actually how they layer the carbon in, in the tighter weaves, for example. So the bigger blocks here is comparison to when you see the step down, they'll see a little bit tighter. Uh, again, these guys, very strong, rigid, the stick itself has more of a mid-kick flex to it. Um, you're still featuring their Vibex technology. So a stick that's already kind of led the way in vibration dampening continues with that same style of vibration dampening. Vibex really does make a difference. You know, you don't know unless you try it. And one of these ones is like definitely recommended. Just be Yeah, no, we, we're going back to our days, like reviewing the original, back at the, at the original end goal and reviewing the original ritual line. One of the things that, that was at a time when Composite sticks didn't feel good. There were a lot of vibrations. And I remember talking to the, to, to the people involved about the studies they were doing and how they had actually in, inserted um, this vibration system that, you know, they tested the wavelengths that we feel and put materials in there to specifically eliminate those wavelengths. So they've been ahead of the curve in terms of uh, feel for a composite stick, and that continues in the new line. One of the nice features that still carries over to um, that I quite liked as well as the slide grip. Um, what that is, basically raised rails on the actual shaft of the stick itself. Hard to see unless you do an up close shot so we can see that a little bit in our extra footage. But really for throwing that poke check, it allows that glove to slip very, very easily along the shaft of the stick. Um, great overall feel. Great price point. At the pro end. <laughs> but it's par for the course when you're getting up to a stick of this kind of quality. Okay, so you talked about the minimus carbon, you talked about the mid flex point. I mean, we have different flex points in terms of where a, a stick flexes, but when you said, when you talked about that carbon being stronger and stiffer, is this a more, like, we know where it kicks. Is this an easier kick, a more flexible stick? Or I think a CCM, like E flex is their one that really bows. 
and the axis is a lot more rigid. Where does this fall in? Correct. Comparison? So if you want to, if you want to kind of make that comparison, if you're looking for more of that more flexible stick that uh, you know kicks a little bit more, they consider the M series the more flexible of the options, um, with a lower kick point on the M series stick. Really designed to get that bow and flex so closer to that E flex. So this would be more of that axis style in terms of a stiffer stick. Still got, I mean, it's still got good flex. It's just like you're not, you're not bowing this like a Brett Hall one tee. No, that is correct. And all the people watching are like, who's Brett Hall? That's right. <laughs> I'm old. So as we trickle down the lines, uh, a couple quick things that remain the same. Three different curve options. So you'll still have your wedge, your twist, and your mid curve. Uh, which carry over. So you'll see the name nomenclature drop because they used to be labeled Quick, Morazic, uh, and Bishop for the twist. Um, your curve comparison is your twist is the same as a Bauer PP31. Um, your um, wedge curve is very similar to the carry price curve, for example, that you find um, in CCM. Um, and then this quick curve, very similar to the Shearwood P41. So some quick comparables and some other brands. Transfer all the way throughout the line. Let's look at the next price point. Hold on, hold on. Twist, oh. twist and wedge. Like it's 40 degrees out right now. I like that. Just and like, you're wearing a sweater. So, you know, maybe again with the brain couple cells. Couple less layers. Again with the brain cells, but fashion over function, folks. Um, that like that sounds like a nice, cool summer drink right about now. I'd like a little twist and a wedge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to, now that, back to warrior sticks here. Okay, next price point down. This is that's the uh, Ritual V2 Pro Plus that we just saw. This is just the Pro. Yeah. So your price drop. You're in a 249 range on this stick. Correct. I'm seeing some of the exact same slide grip. I love the feel. Still strong graphics. I like the grip that they've got here. I like how it continues all the way up. But we notice a difference as we talked about in terms of when we see the carbon here. Those patterns are a lot tighter. How is that going to play and feel? That's correct. So Minimus Carb is 12 with this one. Uh, what you're going to experience and you're going to feel, like if you are familiar with the original CR1, we'll keep that stick down. Or last year's V1 Pro, identical level stick. That's why the price point hasn't changed. You're getting that updated graphic. Um, basically, this is one of those situations, you know, they had a working formula. It works. Don't mess it up. That's why you're seeing a lot of the same features with this stick, just that updated graphic. Okay. So yeah. next, Trig we one, continue yeah. down the line. Again, what, what you see with the Warriors composite stick lines is as you drop price points, your materials change, some of your properties change. This one, we're into the V2 E plus upside down, ah. upside down, it looked like a three <laughs> again. Brain cells, it's hot out. I'm not that bright to start with. I can feel the same, similar grip, maybe not quite the same in terms of around the palm of the hand, but it still has those rails that you talked about all the way up. Sure. I'm not seeing it, it's painted over, so I don't see what's underneath. You tell me what's underneath, and how's it going to flex? How's it going to play in comparison? So, a little bit stiffer, a little bit more rigid uh, stick because of uh, you're using more of a standard carbon layering. They still are featuring their Mibinex carbon, um, but it counts a little bit lower, which means that the stick itself is going to be a little bit heavier. Um, in theory, if you're looking for that kind of price point level stick, um, especially if you're chewing through sticks quite a bit, we're hitting a 190 price point with this one. Um, again, a little bit more price conscious goalie looking for something that, you know, you know, lots of pucks are hitting them. They need a bit more practice. They're not as concerned with the lightest weight stick that they could possibly get their hands on. That's a great option. It does come in a black graphic as well, which does show off the carbon layering as well. However, with this one, uh, it's just a white look. So we decided to switch it up here as we were showing off some of these models. Minimus carbon. That's the V2 E plus, and that's 189. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a price point stick. And now we get into the 129 real bargain stick. And again, so we've, we've got a little bit of tackiness on the grip, but not the not the sort of textured, Correct. like a little stickiness, but not the same texture. We don't have the slide rail. We just got a nice, simple looking, quite attractive still, carbon stick. Still got a little bit of flex in it. Uh, sometimes with these ones, I can find that the cheaper ones, they are heavier. But they can be more durable even. Is that is that what we find in this one? I shy away from saying the word durability as which one's better. That said, um, great price point coming in at 130 bucks. Uh, you're basically getting, you're still getting Vibex, which is fantastic, but it's more of your standard 
composite stick. Not too much exciting. The name callouts are there. Vibex is still there. Sly Grip not pronounced the same way that you do find it on the other three price points. That said, again, when shopping at this price point, not as concerned for some of those fancy things. I want a stick that's going to last and it's going to be durable. That's what you're going to have here. I said it, even though I wasn't supposed to. I, I tend to shy away from the word durability. I caught myself. Great. See? Great. And uh, this might be a perfect uh, warm up stick. The guys like to make fun of me for the warm up sticks. But, uh... So there is some truth behind this. Again, starting out your warm up with you know, one of those lower price point sticks, getting a chance to make sure that this is the one that gets beat the crap out of in warm-ups, and then you take out your game stick for when you're ready to perform. I mean, it doesn't really apply to me because the truth is they just shoot at my head in warm-ups, my teammates. Thanks, guys. Way to go. Um, but uh, every once in a while, they, they put it along the ice, and it's nice not to blow out your game stick. The other thing is when your game stick's a little lighter, go through the warm-ups with the heavier stick, get a lighter one, feels a little lighter. Everybody's just laughing at me right now because they think that's absurd, but uh, Hutch... Millard, laugh away. Uh, so we got these new ones. Let's we bring it all back here to the warrior thing best. again. <laughs> so we still got some of last year's models. The V1 series on sale. You can check them out at thehockeyshop.com. Or you can give me a call here at 604-589-8299. I saw, I saw when we came in and I was looking for you and I couldn't find you. Like you got a whole separate rack. And I'm guessing, especially right now, like we're cup final right now, Carey Price using that stick. Uh, I'm guessing they're not going to last. So really good sale prices on the Warrior V1 line now that you've got the new V2. I don't want to say like his blowout a word I should use. We're getting pretty close to that. So make sure you check them out at thehockeyshop.com. If you've got any questions about lie, curve, all those things, Cam, where can they get a hold of you? 604-589-8299. So I already said that one, but you can get me at 1-800-567-7790. The beauty about the warrior stuff goes across the border. Not everything does. So not only are you getting a discount because the V1 is on sale, if you're coming from the States, you're getting that exchange rate, which slipped a little, but still solid around 1.2. So like you're going to end up getting like 40% off if you're buying this one from the US. Make sure you contact Cam. Check out what, what's left in the inventory from their Warrior V1 line. Top to bottom, it's all on sale at thehockeyshop.com.